Today on Animal Takedowns, a flying caracal takes on one of Africa's worst birds, the guinea fowl. Will the uselessness that his feathered arms outdo the ridiculous awesome that is retractable claws? Will this poor bird live to suck another day? No, no, it'll eventually be eaten. That's the circle of life. Fly to your pear tree now, you partridge-looking bastard, says the caracal. You can't hide forever. And the caracal's right. He can jump 10 feet, routinely snatches birds out of midair, and has a hunting ground more than 10 miles round. The guinea fowl can only fly 100 feet at a time, and its top speed is delicious caracal breakfast. So many wings, so little flying ability, says the guinea fowl. Guinea fowl? More like guinea be eaten by a caracal. This caracal's ears are controlled by more than 20 muscles and can be moved independently to triangulate targets as far away as 600 feet. This guinea fowl's eyes are absolutely useless. And the epic battle begins. We can expect the chase to drag on for hours. Oh, it's over. It's almost like the guinea fowl wanted to be eaten. I'm a bird, I'm a caracal, I'm a super caracal bird. The caracal can go long periods without water because it gets most of its liquids from drinking the blood of its prey. Hey, I want to suck your blood, says this vampire caracal. Nothing, says the guinea fowl, because drinks don't talk. Hey guys, thanks for watching. New animal takedowns every Thursday. Click here to check out other episodes. Please subscribe and comment below. What? <laughs>